DeSoto High School, outside of Dallas, Texas. After a heartbreaking 2015 season, there's only one goal, a state title. We are off, a fair start here. But in the most competitive state in the nation, that's easier said than done. We'll go behind the scenes to find out, can they take it all the way? Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Ready to go to work today? So this week, well, we have uh, Texas Relays. And then after that, we'll be gearing up for the district track meet over in Duncanville, okay? <laughs> I would say it's one of the premier programs in the, in the state. Knees up, ankles flex, 22. For the past three years, we've had a shot to win a state championship. Come on, Trey, get up tall, tall. We were district champs, area champs, regional champs, three years in a row. And then, you know, we get to state and we come up short due to injuries or something. So that's one of the obstacles that we're working on getting over. 27, get it to him. All the way through the line, 27, 28, good. Good. Last season was very traumatizing because we had a lot of harsh injuries when it really counted, like me and London pulled our hamstring. That is bad news for Dunn and DeSoto. All of a sudden, boom, London Dunn goes down, Trevin goes down the week before. They lost Trevin Chambers at the area meet in London Dunn. Oh, he's sitting down on the track. This could be disastrous. One, two, three, two. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, I thought we were in a great position going into the regional meet. Everybody was healthy, and we got to regionals, and it was just like the team got struck by lightning, you know? So it was very devastating because we knew we were capable of doing great things last year. How are you doing, Whitaker? Two. Oh, we got one more. Three. Started over there. One more. Yeah. Boom. Texas Relays are a meet to help us get ready for state. A chance for us to go down there, run on that track, all right, go line up. Let's go. That way they've run down there on that stage when they get down to the state track meet. Run your pace. Uh, today we were doing endless 200s. This helps them get used to people running around them. It especially helps your mile relay and your 800 runners. Be ready for all that pushing and, and grinding between each other. As far as this week, they know that when we go down there, everyone needs to be ready for anything. The thing about Texas Relays, it's a tradition here in Texas. Just go down and see who's the best of the best. Yeah, it's special. It's very special. If you've never been to a big track meet, Texas Relays is the one to go to. It's not very often that as a track athlete, you get to run in front of about 20,000 people. Our kids get real excited about it. It's kind of a setup for the state meet. There's people from all over the state of Texas. But they realize it's not the state track meet. And really, it's kind of bragging rights. It's the final event of the day at the 2016 Texas Relays, and it's the event that everyone in the stadium has been waiting for, the boys' high school 4x4. Some of the top teams in the state of Texas here, Arlington Bowie and Arlington Martin, and also in this race, the DeSoto Eagles, always known for their sprints, but the 4x4 has been kind of a, a thorn in their side. They need this team to run well to have a chance at the state title in a little over a month. Clean start. The boys 4x4 four four is underway. Bragging rights here in the state of Texas. And on the outside in lane number eight is DeSoto, who's getting out to a great start here with the early lead, 100 meters to go into this first leg. 
at the exchange, it's DeSoto, Bowie, Martin, all the teams in the mix, Houston Strike Jesuit in there. Things have stretched out a little on the second leg, but coming off the final curve, it's starting to bunch up again. Bowie in the lead, DeSoto in second, Evan Chambers running strong for them, keeping them in the mix. This is a huge run for the DeSoto team early. Aaron Jackson trying to put DeSoto in the lead here with less than 200 to go in the third leg. This is a huge move. On the back stretch, Bowie came in as the favorite and they are showing why. Everyone on their feet as Bowie into the final straightaway. DeSoto trying to hang on for second. Keyshawn Reed, oh my God, he's coming hard. Right up on Cameron Neely. Neely cannot respond. It's gonna be Bowie winning the race. Keyshawn Reed and Martin in second and DeSoto in third. Four by four went really well. Uh, this is the fastest we run in four years. The top three times in the state, the top three times in the nation. These three teams will see each other at the regional for another exciting race to get to that state championship. And a lot more to come. You know, of course, the competition we ran against, we're going to see them again at regionals, Arlington Boot and uh, Arlington Martin. So we're going to keep working hard and see if we can do a little bit better and get ready for those guys. Uh, we're going to game plan a little bit for the next week and roll in the district and see if we can be district champs. Uh, Alexis Duncan. We knew she was a special talent, really, from the get-go. I'm just ready to like, show out, because like, I think people have been sleeping on me from Texas Relays or whatever. They probably thought I was hurt. It's great to have Alexis back. Today, she said she felt fast, and she showed that out there today. Just like yesterday, we're going to ignore all distractions. All right, District, we're looking forward to all of it. We will have every position filled. No mercy! We're in one of the hardest districts in the state. Cedar Hill is the big competition. I'm nervous right now. My heart is beating really fast. <laughs> You've competed in all the big meets all year, but now the fear is if I don't do well, my season's done.